Harvest 17 continues guys. We took the combine out for about an hour this morning before it started doing this. And we combined in the snow for a little while uh, until the sieves in the back of the machine started plugging up. And at that point, you start to lose corn out the back because the, the uh, grain doesn't fall through the screens or through the sieves the way it should because they start plugging up once they get sticky. So we're going to load a few trucks and take some corn down to the ethanol plant. Harvest 17 just keeps rolling on. Everything is a mess. It's been a struggle. The struggle is real. Uh, it could be worse. But it seems like we're getting a lot of these half days where we do a little bit of work and then it'll start to snow or it'll start to rain or this, that, the other thing. Uh, one thing we got going is, um, I don't know if we'll start today, um, probably tomorrow most likely, but we're going to fill a couple grain bags full because we are going to run short on storage even with all of our bins. We're going to be short on storage. So we're going to fill a couple bags and uh, the bags hold about 15,000 bushels each about 150 feet long and uh, I'll hopefully show you guys what that's like kind of get a video of the process of that I've never done it before either so that'll be a learning process for me as well so that's what we got going on today well the ethanol plants got their bunker open so we're dumping into the bunker instead of at the main house so we're across the road here Look at this thing. That is quite the auger, or conveyor, whatever you want to call it. It's got a great big rubber belt that moves a lot of bushels in a hurry. Free lunch all week at the Denco 2 ethanol plant. Doesn't get any better than that. So we got the combine in the shop. We got two loads down to the ethanol plant. We got a third one on its way right now. And we got a fourth one loading. Back there, not loading out of the leg. He's loading out of uh, one of the bins that's not connected to the leg. In the meantime, I'm gonna head down about five miles south where we got the ripper running. We got a guy there and he's having some trouble with mud building up somewhere inside of the uh, axle where it runs the where it runs the track so i'm gonna run down there and see what we got going on see if we got to dig some mud out or maybe it's too muddy to be going i don't know but i'll go take a look at that see what we got going on yeah that isn't good so we got mud packed up inside here if we let that build up in there this will start slipping inside the tracks we're gonna have some real problems then it's doing something uh, keep keep coming backwards Yep, keep coming Keep going Go five go five more feet So we had to climb in there and knock all that crap out of there, which was not fun. It's a damn mess, actually. Switch, go forward now. And we can't leave this stuff in here or it will freeze. So we've either got to get it out or we got to get it home and into the shop. It moved some! This is half of what we knocked out of here. That's a lot of crap that was hung up inside that tractor. So we knocked that out. There's about that much still back at the field, you saw that. And then we knocked a little bit out of the ripper. I'm gonna just scrape it off to the edge of the concrete now and we're gonna pull this tractor up and hit it with the uh, pressure washer. Try to get everything inside there clean. And then I'm hoping if we put it in the, put it 
in the shop to make sure it doesn't freeze that uh, when it gets colder tonight hopefully in three hours here things start to freeze up hopefully we can take that thing back to the field and start ripping again and well we got all that going on we got the dryer running and we're trying to empty the wet tank since we can't combine we're running the sweep around the bottom to make sure it cleans up everything that we can't get when we just run it normally pretty dusty but there's the sweep lane in there that'll kick on and off automatically as the dryer calls for corn it'll send it up this auger that'll go automatically and we got our other our smallest uh, bin over here besides the wet tank our smallest bin over here that we're running around we got the floor clean on that we're doing some work in there we're gonna get that ready to go and then we're gonna fill this up when we can we got a spot on the back wall we raised this bin a few years ago we got a spot on the back wall where the fan used to be a little bit of water leaked in there and we got some rotten corn so we're shoveling that out into the mighty mow we're gonna clean that up before we fill any other grain in there because we don't want to have that spoiled spot to mess with our clean grain that we're putting in there there you can see that kicked on automatically sweep is now running And dad will be back from the ethanol plant soon, so we got a whole bunch of stuff going on around here. I'm about to go take that pressure washer and clean the inner area of that tractor. I sure hope we can be done with this at some point today so we can take the combine and the tractor back out and go actually get some real work done instead of wasting our time here doing all this. Do I sound more like Kenny from South Park or like a Charlie Brown phone call? tillage the stocks are too wet to combine and now we're out of wet corn so the dryer's done running I'm gonna take my boy to hockey practice and take the night off and guys if you're in Minnesota or you get Fox 9 news be sure to tune in on Thursday night you just might see me there millennial farmer out